The message just came in from Joburg, South Africa. Drug related. It reads One Mr. Michael Maroka on board a South African airline bound for Mortar Mohammed Airport, Lagos. When? Today. Today? And by the flight time. Uh, the flight will be on ground in another two hours. Now listen to me, dear Bray. I want you to get all your men condone the whole, the entire arrival area. He must not slip away from us. Flush all of you that brings bad reputation to this country. And for you out there, Agent Lewis has come to stay. This is my land. Tell me all these book stories. I've told you there's no such thing. You can see all I have. Mr. Michael, I have dealt with a million of your type. So there's no need rattling. I want you to understand something, Mr. Michael. And I have details of all your deals in South Africa. All right. Can I go and join my family now?
Citadel. Citadel. This is Dirk. I'd like to have a chat with you. I want you to tell me everything. I mean, everything you know about your father's drug business. My father don't do drugs. Listen, young man, I want to help you, so you better talk to me. Is that how you welcome someone to his beloved country? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, thank you very much for reminding me of my manners. Well, this is not the way we welcome our brothers coming from out of the country after a very long time. Let me quickly remind you. How do you like this, Mike? Oh, well, it could be a home. Well, it is yours for now, until you get a better place of your test. Well, I think Nina knows what to do inside. It is fully furnished to the test. Guys, get the back style. Do you know about this Lewis guy? Agent Lewis? Yeah. It's a pain in the ass. Very, very tough. Everyone avoids him like a play. Mm. I guess he's doing his job. How come he knows so much about me? I think. Well, it's all bygone. See? South Africa is not a next street. I... For me, life has to start all over again. For my family, I'll do anything. But for Chuzi, I still have the scores to settle with him. Wow. Well, 
I guess you lie low for a while. Then the family will come together again. Mike. All right, thanks for everything, man. What are our friends for? See you. It's clear. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Set the table for two. Waiting for the party. I'll be there. See you. Just an old friend. Now, let's eat. Thank you. Here we are again, gentlemen, after a trip through the shadow of death. So, we all finally made it? Except Chuzi, who got hooked in your bed. What do we do about him? The loot is for the survivor. Only the living praise, Ja. Sure, the fire has just been quenched for real. Naja is not your husband. Here we play by different set of rules. Meaning? This could be the last we meet like this. What if Chuzi comes calling? Chuzi has the other half. Who knows where he hid it? 
did I go through the value of the shadow of death for half the price? At least you have something to show for it. this moment. Whatever it is, we'll sort it out. Oh, you want to set for me? You sure we can sort I it bet out? bet it was never my idea. Okay. Everything, yeah. Okay. Please. No problem. We'll sort it out.
Girls, I want you girls to tear me apart. Oh, yeah. oh yes. I will tear you girls apart. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Take it easy, girls. Right? I am not done yet. Relax, right? celebrating your birthday and you never invited your friend. Why? Choosy. Thank God you are alive. Who thought? Yes. One of us is dead. And that person is you. Yes, sir. Joe, today is the judgment day. And I am the judge and the Lord. I think I have to read my judgment to you. You are here by sentence to death by shooting. <laughs> what am I going to do with you girls? Huh? You have to remain silent. Because whatever you say or you do will be the
Bye. the shopping. Alright, Stacy, um, go to the cashier. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. But don't forget the wine. No, I won't. I won't. Okay, you don't have to worry. Okay, I just, I just wish that it would just come back. Hello, people. What's going on here? Some burglars came here. How many of them? Two of them. Two of them. Did they touch you? Well, I'm not hurt, but the experience is not something I'm going to forget in a hurry, though. No. It's okay. Anything missing in the house? No, Dad. I think it's missing. I, I promise uh, they won't come again. But uh, uh, don't you think we should report to the police? Uh, no, nothing I can handle. Sure. Oh, sure, yes. I mean, just getting into the country and we're already getting harassed. Hold on now. What is it? Yeah, what is it? You didn't tell me we're coming. I did no announcement for such. Well, this is private property. You're trespassing. Not when Agent Louis is involved. I represent the law and order. Oh, yeah? May I see a warrant?
I told you, Mr. Michael, that before you take over my land, you have me to deal with first. <laughs> I'm clean. Always clean. Come in, come in and do your thing, but if you accuse me wrongly, you'll be in for it. Mr. Michael, what is this? I don't know. You know something? A leopard can never change its spots. You kept it. Now you found it. Arrest him. Officer, you can't arrest my husband. But, officer, but, officer, please. But you can't arrest my husband. He didn't do anything. Your husband? We don't know what you're talking about. Officer, please. Officer. Honey. Honey. What are you talking about? Officer, please. Officer, my something? A leopard can never change its spots. You kept it. Now you found it. Arrest him. But officer, you can't arrest my husband. But, officer, officer, please. But you can't arrest my husband. He didn't do anything. Your husband. We don't know what you're talking about. Officer, please. Officer.
Make you happy somehow. You can open it if you you can count it if you want. Five thousand dollars each for a job well done. to catch up with I I think I have to run. No problem sir. Thank you sir. Alright. Well thank you very much sir. Enjoy thank your you. lunch. Thank you very much sir. You can call on us anytime. Thank you sir. Okay. Still some other time. Okay. Thank you sir. Yeah. Oh oh hammer now. Shoot and what for you let's get people supposed to the book it. Choosy, how do you go with the guys? <laughs> Seems they've not seen such money in their life before. The way the excitement was written all over their faces. Wow. That can do them for the rest of the year. Oh, yes. <laughs> because they did their work very well. But the problem remains. The money. Where will he be hiding it? God knows where. But I think he's in that house. Why? You can't take such amount to the bank. The EFCC will track him down if he does. Really? How are you sure? Well, this is my beloved country. EFCC is the new bride, hunting down the wannabes. Well, but not for the people like us. Oh, yes, we are not wannabes. We are businessmen. We are not their problems. We are the kings in this jungle, Steve. Yeah, choosy. Well, let the good time rule, Steve. They betrayed me. Without you, I wouldn't have gotten hold of them. You know that, Steve. That's the game, choosy. Play to win is the rule that makes the winner. Play to win, that's the rule. You. That's the rule, Steve. That's the rule. Exactly, man. Yeah, that's yes. the rule. <laughs> that's the rule. Uh. Have you been through the files? Yes, I've written my report. How is the investigation of Michael? Oh, well, Duff. We seem to meet a brick wall at every corner. How? Is it pulling strings from written detention? Of course not. It's just that we don't have uh, much evidence to nail him. You know. Um. Apart from the information we get from the unknown informants. These informants, how do you contact them? On the contrary, I don't. 
what he does and what it pleases him. You know something, uh, Deborah? I have this hunch, you know, that this unknown informant could be Mr. Michael's sworn enemy, you know? Or maybe business associate who felt cheated. Or better still, could be a setup. Setup? Oh, well, you judge it yourself. Yes, it's something to judge about that. Because, you see, from all the information we have on, on ground, every crime, every offense Mr. Michael has committed, he committed abroad. If all the offenses were committed abroad, why hunt him down here? My thought exactly. Like the drug we got in his house. Look, Debra, this whole thing is <laughs> starting out to be some kind of puzzle. But you can bet on it. I'll figure it out very soon. No lunch today. No, no, go ahead, I'll join you later. I'm gonna put something to eat. I'm hungry. How is the investigation then? From all indications, he'll be a free man. Why will he? Drug was found in his room. They should send him to jail. They should nail him. They should deal with him. He's a drug peddler. The quantity is very small. I overheard my boss telling our superior his findings. And it seems he has fired his report. That means they will not nail him. No, it's not going that way. Rather, he'll be monitored for some time. We will dare leave us, Juicy.
Well, it then means he will surely come after us. Ben, you have a new assignment now. What will it be? That will fetch you cool thousands of dollars. I don't understand. Who takes care of his food? Oh, it's him. That's an ordinary guy. You know him very well. Yes, he's my friend. That settles it. Just mix the whole thing, man. I'm famished, yeah? And the rice and the eggs. You understand? Okay. You're my guy. Yeah. I'll do that. Please be fast. No problem. Hands up, my friend. 
this is a disgrace. A big one at that. Now, it's him. I want you to repeat exactly what happened. Oga, I prepared the food as usual for the detainees and served them. But when I went back to pack the plates, I saw him lying on the floor, sir. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Prior to now, did he complain of any kind of sickness? I mean, no. did he ever complain he was ill or something? No, not to my knowledge, sir. He did not. So, what do I tell the world happened? What do you people expect me to tell the world? Do you expect me to tell the world that the man left under our own protective custody just slumped and died? A man was supposed to be protecting just slumped and died. Is that what you expect me to tell the world? And listen to me, both of you. You better start thinking of what to tell the world. You better start figuring out what to tell the press the moment they feel us out there. Did you hear me? Did you hear me, both of you? Now get out of my office. Out. Get out! Anymore. Agent Louis, what do you think? I'm suspecting some kind of foul play. You know? God. Then, Ethan is the suspect. Before I know what next to do. My problem now is the family. How do I tell the family that he's dead? Tipri, help me out. How? What am I going to tell the family? That a man under my own care. Have you come to search my house? Or arrest my son this time? Or maybe all of us? Which one? None of it, Mrs. Manuka. We are here for everything. It's about your husband. Alright, you finally decided 
to throw him into jail? No. What do you mean no? Huh? What do you mean no? When are you going to let my husband come back to his family? I need my husband. He may not come back. He may not come back. What do you mean he may not come back? What do you mean he may not come back? What do you mean? What do you mean he's not coming back? I'm talking to both of you. What do you mean? I'm afraid, madam. Your husband is dead. He died this afternoon. But we're promising the family that we're going to do everything possible to get to the bottom of the matter. Now you listen. You listen and listen good. Tell me that this is a joke. You tell me that you're just joking, okay? That you're joking! I was with my husband yesterday and he was very alright, very healthy. So, where is my husband? Where is my husband? What did you do to him? What did you do to my husband? What? Where is he? Tell me that you're joking! Tell me you're not serious! What is going on here? Mom, what is it? Ask! Ask you to kill your father! What? I choose whatever I want. That's why I chose you people. <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. You just know what you want. I'm the boss. I own this cartel. I am the boss. All right? You ask for whatever you want, I give it to you. I make money and I eat money. I make the rules. I am the law. OK, I have my boys. I give them orders. And then make money from me. I buy whatever I want. All right? That's you, see. That's me, Steve. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. The lion I am himself. so happy. That's right. Listen, victory at last. Victory at last. I waited for years for today. Huh. Even when we lost a few thousands of dollars. Can you hear that, ladies? Did you hear that? What's the matter with you, Steve? Ah? Huh? What is better than for you to see your enemies fall before your face? The huddles has been removed. The huddle has been removed. All right? I feel like breakdancing. I feel happy. I feel like hugging everybody but I can. I feel like break dancing. Come on, drink. You can never change, you see? I know that. The lion himself. I give you more drinks. It's a victory moment. What is that girl? What is that? Babe! Babe! Come here, man. Come here, babe. Come on. Come on in. You want my battle? No, no. Give me a bite. You are my blood. You, you're my joker, man. Did I miss the party? No, no, no. You want the game for me. Sit down. Sit down. Babe. Steve. Babe. How far? What's up? Let's go. How you doing? Yes, that's my That's my babe. Sit down. Sit down. I, I serve you. I serve you. I serve you. <laughs> Drink, my friend. Drink and marry. All right? We have conquered our fear. <laughs> oh, 
so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I'm doing okay. Come on, ladies. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bembe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is paradise. Oh, yes. I love this. Yes, this is paradise, all right. It comes but once. Enjoy it while you can, all right? They are all yours. Oh, really? That's right. Uh, uh. Show them the stuff you are made of. Let us be go. <laughs> See you guys later. Yes. Go ahead, ladies. <laughs> shake it, ladies. Shake it. Stupid Ben. Steve, choose it. You know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> since you came back. What's the problem? So that I had a very hectic day at work today. And I experienced the worst day in my career as an officer. What happened? We lost one of our detainees. He escaped? He died. He died in cell. Was he sick? That's the worst part of it. He was very healthy. He was very okay. The last time I saw him, all of a sudden, I had. He was dead. It's a pity it happened. Honey, you need to have seen the way the wife wept when I went to break the news to her. The wife wept. She wept so much at the backdrop of the fact that I was the one who led the team that arrested him. This is serious. Oh, God. What was the cause of his death? Nobody knows yet. I just asked them to conduct an autopsy. The result is not out yet. It's okay. It's I wish I wasn't it's part of it. Right. Okay. He did the that went. Everything will just fine. It's going to be alright, okay? It's going to be alright. It's going to be alright. And then what went wrong after that? I don't know, sir. <laughs> yes. Here, the autopsy reports. Thank you. And you want me to believe that he died just like that? Sir, I really, I don't know. Who prepared the food he ate? Sir, I was the one that prepared the food, sir. You. Yes, sir. Do you know what this autopsy result is stating? No, sir. That the victim died of food poison. Hey! Sir, I did not poison any food, sir. Tell me, who was there when you were preparing the food? Sir, nobody. Yes, I remember. 
Ben came in when I wanted to serve the food. Ben came in? Yes, sir. When you were serving the food? Yes, sir. And then what happened? He asked me to go and get his plate where he kept it. He asked you to leave what you were doing yes, to go and get the plate where he kept it? Yes, sir. How long did it take you to do that? So it took me between, between three and five minutes, I guess. Between three and five minutes. Three to five minutes. It's yes, between three and five minutes. Agent Slurry. Yes, what is it? Something terrible has just happened. What, what is it? Ben. Yes, what about Ben? Found dead on the streets. Not too far from here. <laughs> this is getting very interesting. What do you want? What do you want this time? Oh no. Um, I have actually been battling with my mind. And I just passing by and um, felt I should stop by and um, see how you're doing. You want to know how I am doing? After you and your people took away my husband from me? Now let me warn you. Don't you come to this house again? Do you understand me? Don't misunderstand me, madam. Please don't. It's not my fault. Whose fault is it then? Huh? Well, you wouldn't understand. All the same, ma'am. Can I talk to your son then? You want to speak to my son? I can see something is wrong with you. After you and your people murdered his father? No. I don't want to see you around this compound or around this neighborhood. And please get out of my house before I call the security. It's all right. But I hope you're doing well. Derek. 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 Look, I know how you feel, okay? I know how you feel. What do you want from me? Look, I just want us to talk. About what? About your father. Relax, okay? I understand how you feel. I really do. You don't know anything. We believe that the same people or person that is responsible for your father's death must have been responsible for your father's friend's death as well. And somehow, there might have been some kind of cold war between them that resulted in the killing of your father. And if we do not take proper precaution, they might come after the family So That's my concern. I don't want to see your face. Listen, Derek. I want to protect your family. 
I have everything it takes to keep your family intact, away from these people. And that's exactly what I want to do. But you must help me. I want you to tell me everything you know about your father and his business partners. You can't deceive me. I came to tell you that I mean every word of what I said the last time. I need to start doing something before I go crazy. Well, this is our business. It's very taxing. You know? Are you sure you'll be able to cope? If you can do it, why can't I do it? I've been in it for long. <laughs> well, I know it's not been easy since I lost my husband, knowing that he took care of my every need. But um, as long as it's legal, and can put food on my table, help me to take care of my children, I'll do it. Okay. You have to start from somewhere. After a few months, you get used to the items and you start knowing exactly the customer's need. I want to thank you very much for accepting to teach me the tricks of the trade. Uh -oh. I'm going to do my very best. How have you been coping with the kids? Considering that you were just settling into the environment before you lost your husband, I'm still in a state of shock. <laughs> I know, I, I, I don't believe this is happening to me. My God. But I believe that someday everything will be back to normal. It will. It will. Well, I'm, I just wanted to find out when you would like me to start. Oh, anytime. Anytime will be fine by me. All right. Um, I think I'll start next Monday. Okay, let, let me use this weekend to tidy up a couple of things and to inform my children about my decision. That will be fine by me, my dear. Lord, I'm very grateful. What's that friends for? I'm so sorry. What are friends for? Thank you. You've come along. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Yes. Thank you. You've come along. You know. God knows why we are going through this at this point in our life. But be that as it may, we have to move on. Your father was a good man. He cared for your welfare. I used to think so, Mom. Oh, come on, Derek. Your father didn't know he was going to be killed. He didn't plan to be killed. But I believe that someday the reason why he died will be established. Okay? It does not make sense to me. He promised me the world. But look at us now. Feeding. Feeding is one hell of a task. Sweetheart, listen, your father never intended that we should suffer for one day. And he didn't plan to be killed. So please don't blame him. Okay? See, the reason why I called for this meeting is to inform both of you that I'm going to start work next week so I can take care of both of you. What kind of work is that, Mom? Well, um, I met a friend. She deals on textiles. She promised to teach me the ropes of the trade. I don't believe this is happening to us. Maybe I should find a job so that I can help out as well. No, 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 darling. No, no, no. Get that out of your head. Okay? See, the job of parents is to take care of their children until they can stand on their feet. And even though your dad is no more, I am going to take care of both of you. You understand? I wish I could work 
so that you don't have to go through this stress. Oh, sweetheart, come on. Listen, I don't want you to worry about anything. Don't worry about nothing. Hmm? Someday you will take care of me, of us. But now, I do the taking care of. Okay? Listen, I want you both to be strong. We have to be strong. Okay? Okay, Mom. It's gonna be alright. That was it for? It was found in Ben's drawer. Ben's drawer? You won't believe this. We ran a test, and guess what? The same substance found to have caused Michael's death. That's it. Uh, this is interesting. Please sit down. Sit down. Sit down, please. Sit down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He must have been bought and probably double-crossed along the way. Yes. I think statement. man they used to seal this job. Couple of dollars were also found in his trunk. Dear Bray, I don't think Michael's family is safe. We must keep an eye on them. That is not within our jurisdiction. I know. But I'll do it myself. You know, the family believes that if I didn't arrest Michael, he probably wouldn't have died. Oh my God. Ben. Ben. Anyhow, thank you very much for the information, okay? 